Hey everybody, this is Riker Rider, and welcome back to Let's Play Trying to Center New Blood. We are going to begin Chapter 6. And Chapter 6 seems to start in the White House. Hmm. I'd like to hear the Department of Health's opinion regarding stigma. Secretary Mendez? I consider this case a very serious matter. It's unlike any plague mankind has ever known. Could you please elaborate? First off, stigma is a virulent disease created by man. Reports indicate that a contagious strain exists, which means it's a significant threat. In addition to that, there's an underground organization attempting to exploit the situation. So we must face the possibility that stigma is being circulated as a biological weapon. You think? But in order to investigate, we need the cooperation of Homeland Security. No need to worry about that. I've already notified the appropriate individuals. Thank you. I appreciate it. However, I'm afraid we don't have much time to waste. There have been reports from around the world describing symptoms that suggest the presence of stigma. There's even been a major outbreak in one country. You're talking about Kularuma, correct? Yes. We've had one patient flown in for examination. We'll handle the treatment and subsequent analysis here in the U.S. Caduceus will be seeing to it. In case you weren't aware, Mr. Deputy Secretary, Caduceus is our country's finest. There's no need to explain. I'm familiar with the organization. Red tape, red tape, red tape. I'm so glad that you're all back safely. You must have been so scared. You have no idea. But we survived. With each other's help. I'm sorry you had to endure such an ordeal. We must take stringent measures to strengthen our security immediately. But no word since your disappearance. We had begun to fear the worst. How are you feeling? Were you harmed? It was a difficult situation. But we were determined to get through it. Having met our enemy face to face, my resolve to continue this mission has grown even stronger. I wouldn't have objected if you had decided to resign, but I'm glad to hear you say that. We can't win the war against stigma without you three. Something caught my attention while we were being held captive. It concerns Professor Wilkins. I think he may be a member of the Kidman family. Goodness. Could that be true? The Professor? What do you mean, Marcus? Well, you know that guy they referred to as the Director? His face was hidden, but he was definitely the same height and had the same build as the Professor. Not to mention he had the same voice. He also appeared to be the center of their research on stigma. If he is Professor Wilkins, then this would all make sense. I have to disagree. The way he moved and spoke, I just don't think he could be Professor Wilkins. I'm not positive, but it seems very likely. I just can't figure out how he got mixed up with them. Regardless. I'll notify the FBI. Now, I understand that you're concerned, but I need you to continue with your mission. The patient has been flown in by the military. We don't know how infectious the disease is, so use the quarantine transfer unit. According to preliminary examination, we are dealing with a new type of stigma. Another new type so of stigma. So we'll be relying heavily on your abilities. What is this, I know the that's a lot to ask since you just returned. But I hope you're up for the job. That means there's two more left? Well, at least we're not out of practice, having been forced to operate while we were held captive. Oh, my. Is that true? Yes, believe it or not. I'd like to say that you will have the very best working with you in the research lab. But unfortunately, we've lost a key staff member. We'll still do all that we can, though. Did something happen? Cynthia left. She quit while you were away. Why would she do such a thing? She seemed so dedicated to her work. Do you have any idea why she quit, Isabella? As a representative of Humani, I'm not at liberty to say. But I'll tell you as a friend. She seems to have gone through a lot with the higher-ups concerning stigma. They blamed her for developing products that increased patients' susceptibility to stigma. But no one could have anticipated that side effect. It's a shame to lose someone like her, but we can't dwell on it. Let's prepare for the operation, Val. That's too bad. I had hoped to work with Cynthia until we eradicated stigma together. Oh, life isn't exactly fair, Val.